Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a video on how successful the Swedish women's team was, even though they fell to the Juggernaut Canada 11 to nothing. They're exactly that, the Juggernaut Canada. For Team Sweden in the Olympics, the women's hockey team played uh, exceptionally well. They lost to a tough Czech Republic team, uh, lost in a tough battle with Japan, and then after that, uh, bounce back to beat Ty China, excuse me, in a tough battle, 2-1, to one, then beat Denmark in a tough battle, 3-1, to one, and then they come in and lose to Canada in the playoff. I thought this team showed great perseverance, losing their first two to then come back, win battles to the end, very close hockey game in both. They win both of those games in battles to the end over Denmark <clears throat> and over China after falling to Japan and after falling to the Czech Republic. So I think they had a overall, I would say, B-grade tournament because this team, it's better in my opinion, I'm going to give you a better grade if you start off lesser and then be able to persevere and show endurance to get through it and figure out ways to then win your next two. They took on the juggernaut in Team Canada. I don't think anybody um, expected them to be able to do anything uh, too much in that situation. But when it came to Sweden, uh, Soderberg, uh, Beaumont, they play good in net. Pearson play great. Bergstrom, uh, Fallman play great. Lundin, the list goes on and on. They had a very successful tournament after falling in the first two. That's why I'm giving them a B grade. They didn't win the first two. They're able to battle back. They take on Team Canada, the absolute juggernaut, because they weren't able to win one of the first two. They could have had a better matchup if they were. But it is what it is. It's how it played out. All in all, claps up to them. Uh, hats off Sweden for having a hell of a tournament. Unfortunately, you weren't able to go farther, but they're definitely showing they're building in the right direction, being able to have that perseverance and stick to itiveness and figuring out how to be able to find ways to win after dropping the first two. That, to me, deserves a B grade and deserves a solid grade for the overall tournament. Falling to Team Canada is falling to Team Canada. That was expected. Maybe not by that big of a score. So, unfortunately, they couldn't have scored at least a goal to avoid a shutout, but it, it is what it is. Um, Canada's one of the juggernauts in the tournament, of course, uh, in with Team USA in the gold medal game. That's at 12-10, Thursday, February 17. We're at 19-30 is uh, the Finland-Switzerland bronze medal game, which is in the early morning for the East Coast American. But this has been a reaction to Team Sweden in the women's circuit. Hockey being very successful in the tournament. Losing the first two, bouncing back to win the next two. Then they just took on the juggernaut in Team Canada. But overall... Played a very solid, successful tournament. Everybody have a great and safe, pleasant day. Please don't forget to subscribe down below or up above on the EGU's widget to help us grow to 200 by the end of February. Peace out, everyone.